Hello everybody, this is July 26, 2024, sunset time on the hammock and I'm going to share with you my insights as I'm looking deeply in this relaxing uh, position on the astrology uh, of August 2024. So Mercury today just moved to Virgo. So all Gemini energy, including Trump, including myself, including communication, our brain mentality is in the strength position. Mercury is exalted in a Virgo. But, 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 Mercury is slowing down in Virgo. But Mercury in Virgo feels like king. Even that we have a lot of planets in uh, Leo right now. Mercury was in Leo until yesterday. We saw what happened during this period as a cancer season, yet Mercury in Leo to Trump. But now Mercury is in the best sign of the zodiac for him in uh, Virgo, where we have a very sharp head. So Mercury become very sharp and is slowing down and is going to retrograde during the month of August. And I want to share with you even more what is and how it's become very intense and how it's affecting the market. As I'm recording this video, Bitcoin is uh, continue rising as expected, as I'm showing in my live charts. To those that are not familiar with Osher's Astro live chart, months ahead I'm seeing the markets and drawing the line as indicator, as additional indicator to whatever analysis or decision making you are doing but this is based astrology and is helping us understanding cycles beyond the market also in the world and how to strategize our life when you see that trend is going higher even that I'm telling that is always good to combine with your own natal chart because sometimes you have a private cycles that even when market is going higher something is not going best to your uh, dimension. Sometimes it's also protection when the market's going down, how you uh, can be still very okay because of your personal cycle. So it's a good to check in your chart. I'm also teaching this in module three of Astro Finance Method. So Bitcoin and many altcoins are rising very nicely. I would not say greatly. And it's simply to continue, not in straight line, this August with Mercury in Virgo going to start the retrograde from August 5th and Mercury will start the retrograde in four degrees when Venus in the last degree of Leo the day after as Mercury is starting the retrograde officially Venus joins Virgo and Venus is falling in Virgo those that already finished or at least did model one two understanding of the Astro Finance course, understanding the importance of observation of Mercury and Venus. Mercury is explaining us the trade, the energy, the psychology, and Venus bringing us the case of the value. Now, Venus, the value is starting to be very challenging as Venus is losing power. The value is losing power, but Mercury is very strong, so the trade simply that we are starting in August to trade the fantasy, to trade things that their value is not justified by anything. And I will not tell exactly what is to happen in Bitcoin. You will see this in Ethereum and BNB and XRP and S&P 500 and oil and gold. You could see all those charts uh, that is valuable information. But if you, if you are already familiar with my previous videos, and I'm speaking about it very loudly since May, Mercury will retrograde and will come back to Leo already in August 15. So imagine how Mercury, very sharp, ruling travels, ruling ideas, ruling devices, trade, uh, exchanges, uh, currencies, is going to be very slow, almost paralyzed in the best place of its zodiac in Virgo until 
or for two weeks until August 14, 15. Or, uh, until August 14th. Okay, in the 15th, it's already moving to Leo, back and become in a phase of invisibility near the sun that is in Leo as well. And it's going to be Kazimi with the sun exactly on August 18th and 19th, which is the full moon of Aquarius. Bear with me, bear with me. So those that are familiar with my astro live charts already seeing those dates and the pivots that I was showing already for months before, right? This is something that is taking us to a very hyper inflated peak in many levels also of the rally and the election because Mercury, the duality, is also about election, the exchange of choice, the freedom of choice, the way we are going to choose direction. Now, because Vin Mercury is in the best place of the zodiac in Virgo, exalted there for two weeks, and as now I'm recording this video in the last days of July, with all the changes that we saw already in the first part of July, this is a knife mindset. This is like something that can go like very straight, can, very, can cut very much uh, uh, big limits. I'm also speaking about all this August, take risk, take risk even for your life, take risk for the choices that you are doing, using the, the, the strategies, the tricks, the athletic moves, things that you always thought about, I save this for a day that I will need this. It will be such of the energy that will offer us to jump, to move to a new set. Now, Venus in Virgo uh, during most of the month of August, she's reducing the values and people that have not strategized themselves may start to feel poor or very uncomfortable. This is like Venus sleeping on a very hard mattress or very minimalist or in a poor house in a way and seemingly that is going to be related to shortages or things that um, can you know it's like optimization as well Venus in Virgo needs to do diet suddenly you don't have all the options that were open for you before as a comfort is not comfortable but it's time to be athletic now it's confusing this is an advanced transit meaning that the best that people that could use the leo season this is leo season it's there you know summertime go to the beach but who will enjoy most of the beach time those that maybe have already a good area chosen or brought all the equipment and water and beers you know i don't promoting beers but whatever is like having to enjoy best of this season um, because it's going to demand some mental strategies that are going to confuse uh, traders and those that are trying to, to plan ahead now uh, with anything that you feel safe or secure. So many things that so far felt like safe may be needed to change and it's like it's will the energy will encourage us to take risk now the days of mercury retrograde specifically uh, august 4th to august uh, 6th can be very challenging for the market specifically that venus just ingressing virgo the bad place for her where Mercury is in a good place, joining Mercury. So Mercury is compensating Venus by giving her a feel that she's rich, even that materially is not very much employed. It's reminding me like, it's reminding me like someone feels millionaire on the portfolio, 
but continue to live in one room with roommates uh, in a bad condition and do not feel uh, to invest in himself or to put himself in a better position. And this will be also a challenge for not selling yourself cheap because it feels to me that this August also with the top that I'm, go I'm showing also to happen uh, in Bitcoin and others that many will take major profits and will sell cheap in a way to what is coming afterwards. And it's not directly a week afterwards or a month afterwards. This is a strategy. Those that will join out to the My Love chart will be able to see what I'm seeing ahead from September 1st. It will be published until uh, March 2025. Um, remember that Saturn and Neptune are retrograding in Pisces. And Pisces is the opposite sign of Virgo when where the most action of Mercury and Venus are happening uh, in half part of August, but it's going to happen mostly in September when Mercury and Venus, Venus already will interact all August with the opposition of Saturn and Neptune, and this also will increase the challenges of losses. So I'm seeing here a lot of cases of losses and also of profit taking, big profit taking. We are all preparing for the Virgo season that will open us a new axis of eclipses that will happen for the next year and a half of Virgo Pisces. So this August is for the winners, the energy winners. And what else I've missed to say very importantly, and I will repeat on the for next videos because it's so important and that's what's the main thing that is happening. <sighs> Just a little intro. If in July we spoke about Mars Uranus, and just a few days before, and it was happening on Algol, this was the bullet and the miracle that happened with Trump, with an attempt assassination. In August is going to be Mars and Jupiter. So Uranus is miracle. Jupiter is also related to miracles, because this is the Mount Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, what is Christmas, Hanukkah, lights, yeah, but it's also very militant. Now it's happening in Gemini and this is related to a new front of war and it's very much reminding the September 11 energy and the Syria war of 2011-12. Okay, so this is going to be a big battle about currencies and resources and values. And it's not just about how people are going to trade it, it's about big things that are going to happen in the world. In the world. This is why Venus is going to interact with a big outer planet, Saturn and Neptune. It's about losing of values. And what is losing of values? People or governments will lose areas or imagine floods that houses that value millions will be value zero because of floods. Mother Earth is going to take many things. And Mars and Jupiter in Gemini, in the sign of the air, which are very shining on Trump and Kamala, which is amazing with what is happening in Gemini in both charts of Kamala and, uh, and Trump and are all aligned with the Mars, natal Mars of United States and it's all aligned also with my Venus <laughs> that is in Gemini as well. I'm very much on the cusp of Kamala, Trump, United States <laughs> on the same, sharing the same Venus, say Mars but on the same month that Venus is going to be debilitated. Um, August is a game changer. And this is why I'm also sort of expecting for any um, Black Swan event that may change the status quo again, will deviate our life and the focus to something else that sort of will take us back to a new game of control as Pluto ready to come back already by the end of August to Capricorn. Could you believe? Actually, it will happen in September, the exact, because Pluto will move to Capricorn exactly in September 2nd. 
and we are going to feel the energy of the end of 2023. Until the next video, I'm Osher, check the link below. Every live truck you are buying now, you will get a new one for the same one on September 1st with forecast, updated forecast until March 2025. Bye.